Okay, so here's one project idea. Uh, if you come to the repository, link in the description, uh, click on this article. Um, this is, uh, here is a PDF to download. Uh, here's something like comparative analysis of widely used first programming languages. So basically this is article with uh, something ar around 20 tables like this, uh, where um, the authors uh, compare uh, some um, based on some criteria um, these languages based on their features like um, multi-thread support object-oriented programming um, i don't know pointers uh, etc so this article should help you decide which language to use when but you have some priorities and Maybe you have some priority, but um, you don't uh, put so much w weight to that prior uh, to that uh, priority, or you have some let's some ladder of priorities or some hierarchy. Yeah. So if you should really extract some additional value from this article, it would be quite hard. Um, so I was thinking uh, of the ways how you could make this article um, usable and in shorter time, it's 25 pages, around 20 tables where there is a comparison of these languages and it would just uh, last so long to extract some additional value from this. So uh, I've created one system, uh, one question, it's one table or, and based on your answer, it will calculate uh, um, the possible suggestions. It will just tweak the values of the possible results of the languages. So um, you answer to the question and also put the weight that you want to put to your answer. So are you searching for a language that does not require as much previous experience? Let's say yes and put as much weight to that answer because I want to object oriented super let's say yes how important quite important let's say do you care about the number of programming languages repositories i don't quite care uh, multi-thread support i don't quite care as well this is the way how you can use the system you don't need to know the answers you just put i don't know and if there is an answer that you really um want to put weight to and you really want these the answer to make significant uh, change uh, you know in the result um, in the final result then you should just express that it's really important or it's just insignificant do you want the language to support pointer empathic no and it's important for me is it advantageous for this language to be high level let's say yes and it is really important for me so the system suggested uh, C-sharp. So basically, uh, if I created a system implementing, implementing each and every table from this, uh, from this article, I would say it's just a really um, good way how to extract the data from, from data source like that. So that's basically it. Um, the system that I've made uh, uh, uses fuzzy logic uh, it's implemented in Python and uh, the uh, graphical user interface is, is in Kiwi and that's basically it. Maybe I will describe uh, the, the backend more in the uh, next video. Uh, so thank you and bye.